Hello, and welcome to Morning Word and Worship, the program. Hello, and welcome to Morning Word and Worship, the program where the word is boldly, truthfully told, and worship and song is high in praise that sets you free to inspire, invigorate, and motivate you in everyday living. Come join us for Morning Word and Worship every Sunday at 9 a.m. here where God abides. Hello, hello, hello. Sharice Johnson Moore here. How are you doing today? It is an honor and a privilege to be here this morning. Um, we were having a little technical difficulties, but uh, you know, we had to work it out. We're gonna bring you this message, gonna bring you this message, okay? And the thing is, is that this morning it is that you know, good morning, everyone. Good morning and welcome to Morning Word and Worship with Sharice Johnson Moore. How are you doing today? Our topic for today is thank you, Lord, for everything. You, you know, just thank you, Lord, for everything. Like, me being, you know, with your being in the place that you're in and being in um, where you're at right now, you know, and sometimes we can take that for granted. We, you know, you know, thank the Lord for everything. Thank you, Lord, for everything. Thank you. Thank the Lord for everything. Whether it is good, it is bad, it is uh, not of your pleasing, uh, it might frustrate you, it may um, irritate you, it may cause uh, some kind of discomfort. But know that you are, you know, that that being thankful, being thankful for, towards the Lord always gives, uh, uh, it always it leads to a, a grateful and renewed spirit. When you're thankful that the Lord is doing everything in your life, it, it makes you less stressed out. It makes you less, um, less uh, how could I say it? Um, worried. It takes the worry worrying away. It takes um, all of your your trial your your burdens. I'll say it like that. Your burdens away. But well, sometimes you may be thinking, well, why am I going through this? And then I was thinking of it like this. I said, why not? Have you ever thought about that? You thankful for why you why it may be something God is teaching you. It may be something God is going to have you experience. So the next time this situation may show its head, you may turn around and you'll turn around and be like, okay, well, um, I, I've seen this before and I'm not going to stress out like I did last time, you know, because sometimes the things that we go through may be learning lessons from the Lord. And he's teaching us how to stand tall in him and to withstand the brutality of a situation or the malice of a situation or something that was done to you. And you always have to this this um, this aura of gratitude towards God, you know, thank you, Lord, for everything, no matter what it is. Sometimes we want to get depressed and sometimes we we get sad and we get, you know, I, Certain situations call for that. Totally understand, right? My thing is, though, thank him. Thank him anyway. Thank him anyway. Thank him through the good and the bad. Thank you, Lord, for everything that you have brought my life, that you have done in my life, that you brought me through, that you helped me to endure, that you helped me to stand upon your word. You know, thank you, Lord, for all that you do. I um I kind of thought about this topic, and I was like, I just want to thank the Lord for everything. Thank Him for everything, because without Him, we are nothing. You know, and the thing is, is that the thing is, 
is that we have to learn how to appreciate God more. Appreciate him that you got to see another day. Because a whole lot of people didn't get to see this morning. They didn't get to open their eyes. They didn't even get to uh, experience the, the cool breeze on their face. Um, some people, I, I'm, I'm going to put it, I'm going to break it down to you. Some people need help getting out of the bed. Some people need help even breathing. Some people need uh, help with getting dressed in the morning. Some people need help, you know, getting from the from the from their bed to the bathroom. Some people need help. But they, they see, look, I ran across a whole lot of people that I, when I was a nurse, when I was certified, when I was working nurse duty, home health aid, certified nurse assistant assistant, the patients I had had more happiness in them than people that don't need the help. They seen that they were happy that they were, okay, well, I'm happy and joyful. Thank you, Lord, for allowing us to see another day. And, and thank you for the breath in our bodies and the activity of our limbs. We are in our right minds, Lord. You know, it's, it's a lot. You know, when I think about that term now, um, that I'm in my right mind, that a lot of people are fighting a lot of mindset warfare. It's in the mind. It's in the mind. It's in the mind. It's in the mind. It's in, it, it, it's, they're fighting mental health issues. It's mental. It's, it's something that's in their brain. And and we have to think about, okay, I, I had to look at it different. I had to look at it different when it was my own mind. And when it was my own mind, I had to turn around and fight, not wanting to uh, commit suicide. I had to learn how to fight, uh, not uh, ODing on the, on the meds I had, because that's where my mind was at. Thank you, Lord, that I'm in my right mind. I'm in my right mind where I can sit down and I can compose and I can read and I can I can um I can write and I can form sentences and I can talk and I can walk and I can see and I can breathe. And if it were not for God, I could not do this. If it were not for the, I could not do this. If it were, look, I realized something this morning that God will me up for a purpose just for today. Every day is something different. No day is going to be the same. But when he wakes you up in the morning, he'll, he goes up. Breathe that breath of life into your into your body. He turns around and he says, "Okay, so let me see what you're gonna do today." So, because when I give you this day, how are you gonna appreciate this day? Do you even appreciate seeing another day? Do you even appreciate even saying, "Oh, oh I can open my eyes and I can see." I can open. I can. I can. I can. I can actually do some things. I can do some things, and I can make. I, I can do marvelous things in my life. That I, that God opens doors that nobody. You know, God opens the door. God opens the. God also shuts the door. Now, don't forget that because once you know it. it but be thankful. Be thankful on everything. That's why I say be thankful on everything because sometimes. We can get so bogged down with the worldly stuff, we forget all about that it's the Heavenly Father that loves us more than the, than the stuff that's here on this earth. Car don't love me as much as God do. My bank account don't love me as much as God do. You know, people don't love me as much as God do. But he, he sees fit that he, he look, Everybody gets a new brand. Everybody gets a brand new day. Now the ones that don't get a brand new day, that turn, you know, that that do not be able to see this day, God has called them home, or they might have died by violent circumstances, or they might have died by accidents or or suicides or uh, you know just different things can happen to them, and they don't get to see this day. So be thankful and all. Oh, that God bestows upon you. Be thankful that you get, you know, it's, it's, it's a thing of,
Be grateful in all that you are alive to see. From your grandchildren to your grandchildren to your children to your grandchildren to your great grandchildren to your great 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 grand to all that. Okay, so you know, um, be happy, be content, be um, understanding, be be that. You know, be be grateful. Be very grateful for every day that you are here on this earth. That you get to see and you get to hear and you get to talk and you get to, you know, so many blessings. So many blessings that we sit and take for granted every day because we too busy thinking about we ain't getting, somebody ain't do this for us. Or, or, or they, they keep their word or this, that, and other, da, 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 da. Man, it's not going to matter. Be happy that you get to see another day, okay? another day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it, okay? I'm not going to hold y'all for long this morning because um, uh, I just want to give y'all that brief little message, okay? Just give you that brief little message for this morning and kind of motivate you, uh, you know, motivate you and make you think that God is not do what you get. God is not done. God is not, he, he God is not do what you get, okay? So, don't give up. Don't walk away. Don't, you know, don't go, go don't go off and, and lurk in the corner. Don't do that. Get up. Get up from there. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Because there's so many things that could be no, that could be wrong in our lives, but we get to see another day, and that's the blessing in itself. That's the blessing in itself. All right, everyone, I love you. And like I said, I'm not going to keep you long today. I'm not going to keep you all day, all night, okay? I wanted to say that if you have a ministry, uh, a ministry that you want to, that you want to uh you know you want to bring to the forefront of uh your you know you want to you want to let people know about your ministry or your church or church activity or anything of that nature come my way and let's 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 tell the people about what you do in your ministry or your church functions or your uh uh, women's groups or your men's groups or your church functions, you know, like you, you know what I mean. Like church functions, like they have you having a conference or you having a woman's uh, conference or men's conference or this. And and the thing is, is that you can never have too much exposure when it comes to your ministry because God's word is everywhere, and we must share the word. We must uh, be missionaries of our word, be out and doing just doing uh, missionary work and keep telling people about God and uh, holding the conferences for the women and things of that nature and, and everything. So I um, wanted to let y'all know, come my way and I'll make the announcement. Um, if you have a church, I'll make the announcement. You know, I'll do it. all I need. All I just need is the information. The information tell me what it is, and I'll talk. About, I will discuss it and 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 let people know what is going on in your ministry or your congregational uh, meetings and things of that nature. All right, I want to say one more thing. If you do not have this book, please get it. These are my books. Uh, coming to loving yourself. And coming to love yourself, steady guide to building your self worth. It is a book. It is an autobiography, inspirational. Autobiography, inspirational. Okay, let me put it back a little bit. Autobiography, inspirational. And this is the workbook. This is the workbook. You can find both of these at. You can find both of these at my um, at my. Uh, website at the website is called uh, www. 
Drees. Let's see. Let's see. I have been very busy. <laughs> I've been very busy. And I wanted to. I wanted to. scroll across the screen my email address is at the bottom of the screen you can order yours today you can order yours today order your two books go to the website you can or you can even order the two books and a t-shirt okay um I'm, i i want it you know um when you order any of the items on my website you will be helping our local battered homeless women's shelter. Okay. Some of the proceeds off of everything I do, uh, a, everything I sell, everything that is on that website, and you purchase it, you will be contributing to the battered women's homeless shelter. Okay. Battered homeless women's shelter. Okay. So thank you so much. I want y'all to have a blessed day, and I love you, and God loves you too. All right, babies, I talk to y'all. I will talk to y'all later when it is uh, later on today at 12 noon for Let's Talk Sunday. All right, babies, I talk to y'all later. Bye. Hello, and welcome to Morning Word and Worship, the program where the word is boldly, truthfully told, and worship and song is high in praise that sets you free to inspire, invigorate, and motivate you in everyday living. Come join us for Morning Word and Worship every Sunday at 9 a.m. here where God abides.